Mm. All right. So today we are going to be building the armature for our alabrije. An armature is what lives inside of the paper mache sculpture so that you have something that you can put the paper mache on because the paper mache is going to be heavy. First thing you want to start with is building the shape of the head. Now, to do this well, you should be unfolding each of the newspaper pages. You don't want to try to crumple up three or four sheets at a time because um, it just won't work. And then each time I put a ball inside and I kind of use my next page of newspaper to really start shaping the head. Now, if I was going from here, I might want to add a snout if I was doing like a horse or a dog. To do that, I would just take another piece of newspaper and add it on here. This looks good. Good size of the head. You don't want it to get any bigger than this. Okay. I'm going to do one revolution of tape going one way, one revolution of tape going the other way. So this is my head. I've got two rolls of tape on it. I don't want to be using a ton of tape. Um, because then we will run out. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to make the neck. For this one, I do want it to be sturdier, so I might use a couple pieces of newspaper at a time. I have two sheets here. I'm going to roll it up like you would if you were trying to kill a bug. And this is going to be the shape of my neck, so I want this to be wide enough that it matches the top of the head. So I've got my roll. Oops. I've got my roll here. Put a couple pieces of tape on that. Now I need to cut the neck to the right size. My little guy doesn't have a really big neck. So I'm gonna go about right here. Now to attach this guy on, I want four pieces of tape. And I'm gonna start. Oops, attaching the tape like so. I'm gonna kind of shake it around to make sure that I've got it. It's gonna stay on there. Great. Now I'm going to build the body. Starts the same general way. Body should be larger than the head. So I'm kind of crumpling my paper up a little differently. Starting to get a good shaped body there. Once I've got it, I'm gonna secure it with the tape again. One revolution this way. One revolution this way. If you have little pieces like this sticking out, don't worry about it because we'll paper mache over those. Now it is time to attach the body to the neck. I changed my mind. I don't like how long that is. I'm going to come back and cut that off. Still too big. Now you would follow the same procedure to do the arms and legs. So arms and legs are going to be little tubes like we did for the neck. Now let's say you had something like a dog who was sitting up. Um, you know, this could be the two front legs. And then obviously your back legs would come up like this. For this guy, he's got little arms on the side and little legs that stick out. But I'm going to hold on that to demonstrate a couple other things that we might want to do. The next thing we might want to do is we might want to add our wings. We're going to do that out of cardboard. Okay, so you're going to cut that out.
cardboard can be a little tricky, but here we go. Now, when I get that lined up to where I want it, I go, I really want to reinforce this. So, start him right here. And then do kind of that cross piece so that it's really stuck on there. And then I would do that on the inside part as well. Now, for something like horns or a tail, I'm gonna wanna take some wire. You can cut this wire just with a pair of scissors. And I would probably double it, triple it up so that it's nice and sturdy. My otter's tail is pretty short. So I'm gonna go something like that. And I would tape this on as well. So that's how you would do something like a tail. Wires also how you're gonna to wanna to do something like horns. Um, depending on the type of horn, you could either use wire or um, cardboard. If you're gonna use wire for the horns, you do wanna make sure that you wrap it with newspaper before you continue. All right, good luck.